and welcome to the Red Fox Report presented by Marist Center of Sports Communication. I'm Tommy Armstrong. And I'm Derek DeGallo. And today we'll be giving you action from men's lacrosse, baseball, softball, and water polo. Starting off with men's lacrosse, fresh off a home, big homecoming weekend against Sacred Heart. Marist hitting the road running, taking on the undefeated in-conference Manhattan Jaspers. Halfway through the second, Marist up 2-1. Scott O'Connor connects on the dish from Dan McKinney. McKinney's seventh goal of the season. Jumping to the third quarter, Marist up 6-4. Sean Kelleher finds Vinny Batrico, who goes up 7-4. Only two minutes later, Jojo Perico whips that one right into the back of the net for his first goal of the match. Marist gets their largest lead of the day, up 8-4. But it wasn't over just yet. As the Jaspers score four consecutive goals, Kelly Dupree nails a shot within one, but Marist would hold them off, handing Jaspers first conference loss. On to baseball, where the Red Foxes look to defeat Mount St. Mary's for the first time since 2000. Bottom of the seventh, Marist up big, and it's Nico Amri who extends, extends the lead, delivering a two-out double in the gap, driving in two for the Red Foxes, giving them a 7-3 lead with a little bit of added swag at the end as the Foxes roll on. The Mountaineers won't go quietly, though. In the ninth, giving the Red Foxes a late scare. Two outs, bases loaded, 2-2 two -two count, and Jack Keenan gets the strikeout, recording a save and a victory in game one for Marist. On to game two, Marist again with an early lead, but not if Jason Kramer has anything to say about it. He tattoos a baseball down the right field line and waves goodbye as he puts the Mountaineers up 5-3. to three. Mount St. Mary's would hang on to that lead in game two and go on to win the series after a big game three. Next up, we got Marist softball hosting St. Peter's. They won game one of the doubleheader, 1-0. to zero. Start at the bottom of the second. Matty Pleasance rocks that one down the right left field line, and that one's gone. That's their third home run this week. Later on in this inning, though, two on, one out. This time it's Howard. She sends that to the exact same spot as Pleasance, as that's her first career home run. Later on in this inning in the seventh. After scoring from both sides, Turner with a 2-0 pitch, drives that one down right, right down the right field line, just barely fair. Two runners come across. Later on, keeping the rally going is Skakel with two outs, drills that one down the left field line, which allows two runners to come across for St. Peter's. But that was not enough as Marist sweeps St. Peter's, winning 8-5, making Marist 33 consecutive victories. And finally, from water polo, the Red Foxes defeated the number 23-ranked Long Island University in Saturday morning's matchup. Marist, Victoria Orlova, and Ella Baumgarten combined for eight goals as the Red Foxes took an early lead and ran with it the entire game, securing a 12-8 victory. All right, everyone, I'm Derek DeGallo. And I'm Tommy Armstrong. And that is all we have for you today on the Red Fox Report presented by the Marist Center for Sports Communication.